Hi everybody, this is Dr. Helen Thomason, Thomas Ayurveda and Chiropractic. Today I'm going to teach you the concept of what fight or flight means. And fight or flight is referring to a nervous system that's mentally exhausted or physically exhausted or emotionally exhausted and it's stuck on on. And that means that there's electric charges that are stimulating the brain, okay, and as they stimulate the brain, they affect what is called the vagus nerve, which as my finger goes down like this, and doctor uh, is going to pan in on that and come right in here and show you that this is where, when it's lit up down here, if you notice, the brain is directly connected to the middle of the body, which is the digestive system. Now we're going to come over here on the other, on the autonomic nervous system, and we're going to look at where does the vagus nerve come in and supply the stomach. Well, Dr. Craig is going to pan down in right here, and this is the connection. Do you see those little lines and that? That's telling us that this is where the electricity sparks at. And what does it directly affect? It affects the gallbladder, the stomach, the liver, the spleen, the pancreas, okay? Now, uh, Dr. Craig's going to go back over to the spinal and cranial nerve chart and show you right in here, okay, is where the, when the nerve, when the, when the brain is stuck on on, okay, when the brain, and then go back over to the other one, the brain is stuck on on, and pan the brain, please. Okay, not far away into it. Let them see the light. Okay, and so then the brain, and if you see, come a little closer, Craig, where you, you see that the electricity is going down that vagus nerve and that area where the kidneys and the adrenals are, are lit up. And now you can see over to this side um, at the autonomic and nervous system that it lights up energy is flooding into these organs, okay? So what? how does this really work? Well, when the brain is stuck having lots of thoughts, take a look at how lit up the brain is. And when the vagus nerve actually goes down and it starts getting so much electricity in here, this is what really is fight or flight. And as we showed you, as we panned back and forth here, that when the brain is stuck in fight or flight, it cannot relax. And if it can't relax, one of the ultimate things that it does is it over, can you pan into the stomach there? It over amplifies electricity to the stomach. And that makes hydrochloric acid pour into the stomach. And hydrochloric acid is considered the strongest acid of the body or of the world, actually, in, in the world. And, and you can take hydrochloric acid, they say, and burn a hole through a pair of jeans. So if this is, when you're in a state of fight or flight, mental exhaustion, physical exhaustion, emotional exhaustion, the vagus nerve is over amping and it's sending electricity to the stomach. And by the time that the food gets from the mouth down the food pipe into the stomach, the stomach is overcooking it. So and overcooking it means cooking the nutrients out of it. So by the time that the food paste leaves the stomach and goes to the gallbladder, let me see if I can light that up for you, um, and goes to the gallbladder, um, it's overcooked and it's dry. And so then by the time it comes out of the gallbladder into the liver, and of course the fats are only emulsified in the gallbladder, goes to the liver and plops into the small intestines, okay, then it's the food paste that it's made is not a healthy alkaline ash. And so that's how fight or flight directly affects digestion. And that's what it looks like that's going on in the body. So if you get up in the morning and you don't feel good all the time, that's uh, some variant of how it looks like inside your body. Okay, I just wanted to tell you about fight or flight today. Okay, thank you, Dr. Craig.